Last week, Philip Schofield and his co-star Holly Willoughby came under fire when they went to pay their respects to the Queen, who was lying in state at Westminster Hall. However, the duo were spotted on Sky News by viewers, who believed that this morning hosts had skipped past the members of the public, who had been waiting in the queue for hours. ITV and the presenters have denied that they jumped the queue, explaining they were at Westminster Hall to film a segment for Tuesdays this morning. Despite their explanation, Holly and Philip have continued to spark backlash with fans, and one person even set up a petition to have the pair axed from this morning. So far, the petition has received more than 70,000 signatures from angry viewers. However, it appears Philip, who has been the face of We Buy Any Car since 2019, has been replaced on their social media platforms. Instead of the Facebook and Twitter banner images showing Philip laughing with a lady, a photo that was originally uploaded in December 2021, the banner images show two parents with their children alongside the We Buy Any Car logo. The business's move hasn't gone unnoticed by their followers as many took to social media to comment. Mr. E. Pend, thank you at We Buy Any Car, it is not just about the queue skipping, it is the lies and cover-up afterwards we really don't like, we've lost trust in Philip and Holly, at a time of mourning their entitlement was for all to see, they should have come out and been honest from the start. Sick, while Simo joked, excellent. This was always on the cards after people started using the brand to highlight his queue jumping. We jump any queue.com. Sandy added, I turn off the radio every time the We Buy Any Car Philip Schofield advert comes on. What took them so long? Sally Frise went on to ask. Despite the criticism, some fans have stepped in to defend the presenter, with Nikki tweeting, Let me start by saying I'm absolutely no fan of his but I take the same stance on this as I did with Boris. People should not lose their livelihood when rules are not broken but just because the optics are disliked. This is wrong. Sick. Holly and Philip addressed the queue jumping incident during Tuesdays this morning, insisting they would never do such a thing. Like hundreds of accredited broadcasters and journalists, we were given official permission to access the hall, Holly began. It was strictly for the purposes of reporting on the event for millions of people in the UK who haven't been able to visit Westminster in person. The rules were we would be quickly escorted around the edges to a platform at the back. In contrast, those paying respects walked around a carpeted area beside the coffin and were given time to pause. None of the journalists or broadcasters there took anyone's place in the queue and no one passed by the Queen. We, of course, respected those rules, however, we realize it may have looked like something else. Therefore, we, totally understand the reaction. Please know, that we would never jump a queue. Express.co.uk has reached out to We Buy Any Car for comment. This morning airs weekdays at 10am on ITV.